Kasim Ouma has never been one to give up easily. His journey from child soldier to IBF junior middleweight champion brought out the tough cookie in him. Even when he lost the world title to Roman Karmazin in 2005, Ouma went down fighting. Forced onto the canvas twice, the towel could have been thrown. He didn't. Instead, the match lasted the distance as he lost his belt on a unanimous decision. In 2006, Ouma stretched the limits of persistence when he beat Marco Antonio Rubio by a split decision despite being floored in the first round. At the peak of his powers, Ouma won a claim for his rapid punches. The ravages of advancing age have since slowed him down, with the Southpaw winning one fight since in his past four bouts. It's been two years since Ouma took to the ring. It wasn't a fulfilling outing as Gennady Golovkin subjected the Ugandan to a technical knockout. But Oma insists that he isn't a spent force. He got, he got power. I won't say nothing, but you know, I fought him. I won 10 rounds. I didn't get not, not even count one time. And I busted him out. I let him see his own blood. So I ain't going to talk much about that. But let me just make a statement. I'm here. I'm back for real, 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 real. Tonight, on the eve of his 35th birthday, Oma will make a return to the ring in an unglamorous fight against journeyman boxer Rahman Mustafa Yusubov. Omar will be hoping to get a win under his belt as he seeks to turn the corner in 2014. With trainer Yoel Yuda in his corner, the dream may well still be alive.